Okay. So, time to make some rounds. Because, uh, we just survived the suicide mission. That is no small feat. That is a big deal. Not only did we survive it, everyone survived it. We survived it without any deaths. You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. Just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. I like how Kelly for a moment there had the perfect memory um, recall like Thane does. But, yeah. A traumatic experience like that? Wouldn't you just be able to have difficulty forgetting every detail about that horrifying experience? That's something that's probably like etched into your mind forever, no matter how much you want to forget about it. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire... Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. We heard him say that before, so... I told you we'd tear the Collectors a new one. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. Glad you're all back. Hey, Shepard, glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? It's never over. I assume everything's going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Shepard, what are you looking at? That's why sometimes I just stop, just to get her to stop looking down like that and just look forward. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Again, Shepard, Sh Shepard, stop looking down at the ground at nothing. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. Someone saw Garrus heading to your quarters with a bottle of champagne. I'm happy for you two. It's not often you find something good in a galaxy like this. Aww. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about.
You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. I never want to go through anything like that again. But we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. Hmm. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. Thanks, Karen. Get better, Hawthorne. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. <clears throat> you really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. Thank you. First Saren, now the Collectors. Remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Have you got a minute? Definitely. But I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us. I want us. that too, Garrison. Glad to hear it. I'll... <laughs> It's funny, it's the same dialogue at, even after they did have their, you know, time together before the mission. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the Collector Base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. For more, Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass bones. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Jack, Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing <laughs> around. No hard feelings, but I, I should don't go. Whatever. Even Jack didn't have anything to say in regards to what we just did. Not even like a way to stick it to the elusive man, Commander. Nope, nothing. Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. 
You arrived just in time. Thank you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I can't believe we destroyed the Collector Base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that's said about a lot of things you do. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Alright. So. We've got all these things here that I still have to do. Don't worry, I'll take care of all that stuff. So... Normally this would have been, you know, the ending like, hey, we did it. However, there is still one more thing. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Remember what we saw before the credits played? Keep that in mind as we go through this DLC. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. So yeah, I was double checking because I don't think I've mentioned Hackett all that much uh, outside of the couple times he actually talked to us in the first game. This is one of the really first times that we actually get to see him because we never really saw his face in the first game. We heard his voice, which, by the way, if you don't know who that is, um, well, that's a shame because he's a very, very well-known uh, actor. Um, his name is Lance Henriksen. Um, if you don't know him as Admiral Hackett, you probably know him as bishop from aliens and alien 3 but many of us tried to forget about that existing um he was also in terminator like if you look at his imdb you'll see uh, a number of things you probably recognize him from he was also in detroit become human um <laughs> which i am definitely planning on doing a playthrough of that at some point someday i just haven't gotten around to it yet but uh, yeah, he was in that as well. But yeah, those are probably the two roles that I especially know him for the most. Admiral Hackett and, of course, Bishop. Because how could we not know him as Bishop, right? Uh, he was also... He was Bishop in Aliens. He also came back and played, I guess, a real... Uh, a human equivalent in Aliens vs. Predator. So, anyways... I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. 
If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry hmm. about. That way they can go ahead and deny it in case something goes wrong. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground in a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. All right. Nothing is impossible, says the hegemony propaganda poster that depicts a muscular Batarian miner under an Aratot sky. His rebreather held away from his face as, as, as if he's just taking it off. The image sums up millions of man hours of labor on the Batarian planet and represents, or misrepresents, much of its history. Two decades ago, Aratot, like several planets in the Skillian Verge, was claimed by both human and Batarian governments. But the Alliance backed out after learning about the atmosphere's dangerously low pressure and oxygen levels. Instead, they concentrated their colonial efforts on planets that could support human life without the aid of domed habitats and rebreathers. Human governments saw it as a wise move. Batarians saw it as cowardly. The Batarians rose to the colonization challenge, shipping in large numbers of laborers. They took the high financial costs and casualties due to accidents or logistical snafus in stride. Large-scale dumping of cyanobacteria has increased the oxygen in the atmosphere by a fraction of 1%, a modest increase that the hegemony trumpets as a sign of their eventual victory. Short-term profits on Aratot are largely made in the mineral sector through mining the extremely metal-rich planetary crust. The dark side to the mining does not appear on the propaganda poster. The majority of laborers are indentured servants or slaves. Aratot is rumored to have military bases on its surface and throughout its solar system, though details are heavily restricted by the Hegemony's Ministry of Information Control. Human merchant ships rarely come to the planet, outcompeted by local companies that benefit from heavy economic protections. The average Aratot citizen only sees humans on the news, usually featured in stories of trials and executions of accused spies. So, the Bahawk system, hmm, yeah. So, we will be starting our suicide, or not suicide, we just did that, our solo mission, excuse me, our solo mission in this DLC arrival when we return. Stay tuned.